Alright guys, <coughs> this is a new project, Lexus 250, oh, yes, yeah, 250C, IX, yes, um, it's a convertible, uh, one door, Lexus, so as you all know i'm here to uh, fix the lambo door yeah it is high open now so, yeah you can see nothing there yep this is how he opened as normal as usual yes So I'll be fixing the Lambo door, vertical door, yes, so you all know, I don't know how I'm going to do the video, maybe by picture or by video, anyone, so stay tuned guys, but I'll try to get the full details so that you can uh, learn from it, yeah. So, thank you guys. Stay tuned. I'll get you guys back on. This is how far I've gone on this uh, Lexus one door coupe. Oh, I couldn't show you. I've went far, but let me do, let me explain what I did. I first of all removed the fender, the boat fender. Yes, I'm doing it at the same time, the boat two side, because I've doing a lot of, I've doing this car a lot of time so I know exactly what to do so I first of all remove the boat two fender yes then I I have this template before uh, this is the base of the door you can see it I cut it out I know exactly what to cut out because I have the template before so I tied it up uh, I cut the size of the inches you can see now and I cut this angle so that the inches can actually enter and flush you can see flush the angle so that I will have a room for the door to open more so that I will be able to go up so all this size um, I, I have it already so I know what to do I did the same thing on the, the other side yes you can see I cut it I cut it just hook it up now so right now I'll be welding the angle bar this angle bar it will make the inches to bend a little yes if you watch my previous video you know what I exactly mean but I was also did it on this door so after I weld it then I'll tight it up then create another room for my a reinforcement because I have to reinforce it if you didn't reinforce it it will be shaking so uh, let me get the weather done uh, I, I believe I did not forget anything I could not forget anything yes uh, yes I did not forget anything so let me get it done I'll get you guys uh, back on all right guys okay I've complete my base uh, inches yeah you can see it there so I tight it uh, this is how I finish it I do the other side you can see it this is how it look like the other side so the inches will be tight here so that the inches can be bevelled a little so right now 
I'm going to be putting the door and cutting up my reinforcement and high on method so and also wet it on so as I'm putting it I'll be sizing it whether it fit or not so I can't really give you the video but I'll give you the picture view of it as I'm doing it I'll be taking the picture because you know as you all know I always do my work alone yeah nobody to assist me except if my friends or my somebody just come around they will just assist me on so stay tuned guys I'll show you how I do it okay okay this is how I started area forcing it as you can see uh, I cut when I already cut the size of the <coughs> inches then I cut the size of the inches here uh, yes like this oh okay like this then I cut off the size of the one I want to weld then I cut a melter after cutting a melter then I place it on this angle and I wet it so I'm going to be cutting the other side here as you can see the other side of it the other side of it is like this okay, let me draw this it's like this and then I'll cut the side on method and I'll wet it on so let me get it done I'll get you guys back on this is how I did it you can see yeah uh, the reinforcement is the base is done now you can hear it it's so solid so what's next now I'll be cutting something like this about one inch and wed it the hedges of all the hand goods that's what I'm going to do now so that even if I'm going to put it you will see the inches entered the hole directly the full size so let me get it done I'll get you guys back on okay guys this is how I finally complete uh, the sitting of the inches you can see uh, this is how I did it and then this hangul I have to wet it what I did I cut it off and flip it over why is because of this hangul uh, so that is to have a room to sit on that's why I have to cut it um, yeah so I'm going to clean it up now and uh, spray it with anti rose and all black spray and then after then I'll look for how I'm, the in uh, shocks is going to sit so let me get it done i'll get you guys back on okay guys <clears throat> um i finish up the inches i put uh, after finishing you clean it up then i put the the door to see how it fits and attack it up so now i'll be putting the shocks that is why I do this bar. This bar will hold the shots. You can see it. How wet I wetted it to the chassis of the car. So that the shocks can be like this.
you got it so that is it I'm going to be fixing it now so let me get it done I'll get you guys back on this is how I completed it you can see how the shocks are lined up with my chassis template is a template or what I want am I going to call it I don't know uh, base that's the base over there yeah I tight it at the front because I did thread on the base so I tight it I tied the shocks then I put in not to hit behind so that to hold it in place you can see how beautiful it is yes the way it lined up well uh, that's pretty good so guys uh, I did the second size too because I said I'm doing it at the same time to get the accurate of fit you can see it yeah you can see it how it line up well yeah it goes well yeah let me open the other side see how it's lined up well let's see from front yeah okay that's how it is so I'm going to be putting the stopper now there's a stopper here so so the next you see how I'll be coupling it up after putting the stopper then I'll be coupling everything up so you see it at the finishing time so stay tuned I'll get you guys back on this is how I completed this Lambo vertical door you can see it yeah uh -huh, let's see it from behind you see how great it dips how corresponded it look yeah you see it this is what i'm talking about me uh, uh, that's pretty nice i don't even have anything to say you can see this is how it look if you watch the video from beginning you see yeah the way I did it that's how I do my things yeah this car has been doing this car before so it couldn't it couldn't give me tough time to do so let's bring the door down and see that is it see that's what I'm talking about let's do the other side and see how it jump that is it you see how accurate it is you see the gap you see this gap too so that's how it is so thank you for watching guys thank you for please like and subscribe uh, so to give me energy to do more video so thank you guys i'll see you in the next one Cheers.